radical Islam is a huge issue. It's a huge issue in the country, but to evangelicals, this is a bread and butter issue. Right. It's a big deal. You said one time in an interview that there, and just recently, that there's a, there's a, I think you said on O'Reilly actually, there's a Muslim problem right. in this world. What, what do you mean by that exactly? Well, Bill O'Reilly asked me, is there a Muslim problem? And I said, absolutely yes. In fact, I went a step further. I said, I didn't see Swedish people knocking down the World Trade Center. And, you know, it was very interesting. I thought that was going to be a controversial statement. And somebody, I think it was Dennis Miller, when they introduced me, him, he was doing like an analysis right. of my interview. He said, I love it. The guy said, what the truth is. He didn't mince his words. He didn't say, oh, gee, no, there's not a Muslim problem. Everybody's wonderful. And by the way, many, many, most Muslims are wonderful people. But is there a Muslim problem? Look what's happening. Look what happened right here in my city with the World Trade Center and lots of other places. So I said it, and I thought it was going to be controversial. And actually, it was very well received. I think people want the truth. I think they're tired of politicians. They're tired of politically correct stuff. I mean, I could have said, oh, absolutely not, Bill. There's no Muslim problem. Everything's wonderful. Just don't, don't forget. Just forget about the World Trade Center problem, blah, 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 blah. You know, but you have to speak the truth. We're so politically correct that this country is falling apart. And I, I take it, though, that many evangelicals think, as it relates to the Muslim problem in the world, that the base of that is there's some c concerns about the teachings of the Quran. Do you have problems with some of those teachings? Well, I'll tell you what. The Quran is very interesting. A lot of people say it teaches love, and there has to be, a, there is a very big group of people that, who really understand the Quran far better than I do. Sure. I'm certainly not an expert, to put it mildly, but there's something there that teaches some very negative vibe. I mean, things that are happening, when you look at people blowing up all over the streets of some of the countries over in the Middle East, I mean, just, you know, blowing up a supermarket with not even soldiers, not even hours, so just people where 250 people die in a supermarket that are shopping, where people die in a, a, a store or in a street. There's a lot of hatred there someplace. Now, I don't know if that's from the Quran. I don't know if that's from, you know, someplace else. But there's tremendous hatred out there that I've never seen anything like it. So, you know, you have two views. You have the view that the Quran is all about love, and then you have the view that the Quran is, is there's a lot of hate in the Quran.